Oh boy, oh boy. I got a package. Problem. I didn't order Legos. So for those of you not in the know, what's left here is an Edison player style record. Uh, mid 19 teens or 20s. Didn't arrive too well. Now, to be fair, the seller was a brand new seller. And uh, I see where he thought this was a good idea. Let's break this down and what the seller could have done a little bit better. Now, I see what they've done here and how they thought this could be a good idea. Um, this looks like one of those uh, padded, I'm thinking it's for like... Um, toner cartridges. I've, I've had these before. How they thought putting that inside a large box was a good idea, I don't know. I see how they think it would be a good idea, but it's not. First of all, way too much packing material. Now, the most important part of this is starting with the good raw materials. You're going to need raw cardboard stock. Um, I have tons of uncut cardboard laying around all the time. I'm always using it to wrap something or to bind something together. You want a cardboard that is uh, double corrugated. It's very important. Do not use Amazon boxes for this. They are way too thin and do not provide enough padding. If you source your materials, uh, if you there's a lot of people out there that dumpster dive for boxes, nothing wrong with that. I used to do that a long time ago. Nothing wrong with that, no shame in that. Go for stuff that used to hold like furniture, or, or big appliances, those are gonna be your double ply. This, this is a corrugated piece of an Amazon box. This is a double plied piece of cardboard. This came from like, uh, I think this came from a box uh, for like lawn furniture. So you see how thick that is. It is very important you use the thick double corrugated cardboard, otherwise this will not work. Now, take your disc. This is a junk disc. Don't use this on a disc that you've sold or selling. This is a donor disc, okay? Now, go ahead and trace around the disc with a marker or a pen. You should end up with something like this. Now you should have something like this. This is going to perfectly hold our record in there. You see how it doesn't really uh, go beyond the cardboard? That's because it's double ply. This is perfectly going to cover um, a 78 or a very thick disc record. That's why the double corrugated cardboard is important. Next, go out and cut another piece of cardboard equal to this. So now you should have something like this. Now you could easily cut another piece of cardboard just like this and sandwich it on here and wrap your record. Problem, you have to tape all these joints extra carefully. Let me show you how to save a little bit of tape. Now I just quickly cut this out, but if you wanted to take a bunch of raw stock cardboard and have a bunch of these ready, it's really simple to do. Just take the actual measurement of the actual where the record goes and uh, divide it in, in half. So you got 15 inches, okay, divided by two of those, you need only seven and a half inches on both sides so it easily folds up together. Um, it's not rocket science. So let's go ahead and assemble the record. Now what I did prior to packing this is I took my 78 and I put it around plastic. What I love to use, and you can obviously tell I got these at Walmart, but many grocery stores carry these. These are the uh, twist, um, I guess in this case they're like twist bagel bags, but you'll, you'll see them like large sandwich bags. They don't have the Ziploc on them, they're just one continuous piece of uh, Plastic. I use these all the time if I'm ever sending, uh, uh, you know, paper ephemera or anything out like that. I always put it in a plastic bag first. You get a hundred bags here. I think it was around two bucks. 
uh, this is invaluable. I just use it just in case, you never know, water damage. There's no paper label on here to worry about, but you know, it's just a little extra layer of protection. I've taken this, I've taped this together so it doesn't slide, okay? Now, when we put this in, my apologies, there we go. Look at that, in there perfectly. This shouldn't really move around. See how there's no movement. This is what we want. Now, like I said, you could easily put another piece of cardboard on top of it and tape all the joints. Let's save a little cardboard. Let's go ahead and put this around here, here. Let's go ahead and tape. And there we go. Taped along the back, these two edges. Don't have to put tape around the whole thing. Save a whole lot of tape. Ready to go. Ready for your label. Um, don't be like Bob. Uh, I mean, look at that. Came in a box this thick. Plenty of room to wiggle around. Here's mine. Okay. So, do this. Don't be like Bob. That's your PSA. Happy selling.